my name is Atika Office Arabis and my metric number is 291178. I want to explain my, the executive summary of our product. The name of our business is Happy Builder. The product of our company is Lego Brick, which is our company's goal to change their problem-solving skills, special awareness, creativity, and fine motor abilities people. Our company specializes in the production and distribution of interlocking plastic brick. Lego brick is very useful for relaxing the brain after being tired due to daily activities. Our company target for this product for university students, staff, and online users. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And hi everyone, my name is Aina Fatiha Binti Rosli and my number matrix is 292640. Okay, I will continue about executive summary about our company. Lego Bridge target this product for university students, staff, and online users. We are currently running a promotion offer where customer who purchase three items will receive one item for free. The company accept cash on delivery (COD) as a payment option for customer in Kedah, and for the customer located further away, we offer express shipping service. Lego Bridge utilize e-commerce platform like Instagram and WhatsApp to facilitate product purchases. Uh, this company uh, this company mission is to provide the best service uh, to its customer. To ensure the smooth functioning of the business, Lego B has a management team uh, comprising a director, assistant director, marketing manager, operation manager, supply manager, financial manager, assistant marketing manager, assistant operation manager and financial assistant manager. This team is responsible for overseeing different aspects for the business operation. That's all for me. Thank you. Albert Business 2.1 Introduction of Business Welcome to Happy Builder, our, our one-stop shop for all things LEGO. We are a small business with a passion for LEGO business and we are dedicated to providing our customer with the best possible experience. Lego bricks are a popular toy that have been enjoyed by children and adults for generations. They are also a valuable commodity with some rare sets fetching high price on the second market. This makes Lego bricks an interactive investment for entrepreneurs who are looking to start a business. 2.2 Partnership Business We are looking for a partner who are passionate about LEGO and who share our commitment to providing our customer with the best possible shopping experience. We are looking for a partner who are willing to work hard and who are committed to growing our business like toy stores, um, that are passionate about LEGO and who have a strong track record of providing excellent customer service would be great for would be great fit for our LEGO and online retailers that are passionate about LEGO and who have a strong online presence would also be great fit for our LEGO and the last is even organizers who are passionate about LEGO and who have experience organizing successful LEGO event would be great fit for our LEGO. And the last is the product. LEGO bricks interact in LEGO bricks are interacting plastic brick that that can be used to build a wide variety of objects from simple toys to complex models. Lego bricks are a popular line of interlocking building interlocking plastic building toys that have been enjoyed by children and, and adults alike for generation. Uh, there are available a uh, widely variety colors, size and can be used to create endless variety of structure from simple models like our models to complex masterpieces. Lego bricks are a great way to encourage creativity 
problem solving skills and hand eye coordination. That's all for me. Okay, good day, doctor. Uh, my name is Bell Xiang and my metric number is 285626. So, for my part, I would like to present about marketing planning. So, marketing planning is uh, essential to the success of uh, any business, but it is uh, especially important for the Lego business that target universities, students, staff, and uh, online user. So, for the target market, okay, a place where are uh, the people or organizations that might be interested in the purchasing company's product or service are ref are referred to the marketing market in business. So, um, for the people that or anyone that older than ten years old, from children to adult, is welcome to play with our Lego, and we also will provide a post purchase service like asking feedback and giving a discount on subsequent purchase for our customers. Okay, next is product strategy. So, for product strategy is the long-term plan and decisions made by the companies or any business to develop and, and position its products or service in the market. So, everything in manufacturers in order to satisfy the demands and uh, preference of the consumers from pattern size to packaging. So, for our Lego product, we'll pack in the paper box that uh, have has uh, attractive pictures of the Lego in the box and portable friendly make it easy for the, our customers to carry in it anywhere they want and suitable for them to store in anywhere and also lego pro our lego products are, are perfect for making as a gift for any people because the package is beautiful and attractive and the customer also can purchase fish cut for three ringgits to make the uh, presents become more attractive Okay, for the pricing strategy is the process and plan a business choose to establish the cost of its products and service. And uh, we will provide 5 ringgit of the selling price for each Lego and each, every pro, uh, purchase of one Lego will result in profit up to 2 ringgit 50 cent. And we determine this price that is not uh, too cheap and not too high which is middle level of the price and compared to the market since we want to uh, maximize profit as well as much as possible will remain the competitive next is for promotion strategy is a concern with the planning uh, implementations and control of the pers uh, persuasive communication with customer so we are using social media platform to reach and uh, advertise our products and also we will take a review and ask the customers to give feedback and post in the, the feedback in the social media and also pro uh, pro promote our we will promote our products by approaching customer by face to face to try purchase products and also we will do a promotion package which is give the promotions like buy three free one to attract the customer to buy more products from us okay for the last strategy for marketing plan is distribution strategy which is a company plan and intentional approach to reaching its target market with its products or service and we have two uh, methods which is direct and indirect for direct okay for example the customer that uh, live near to our store for example in Gerda state where uh, near with our Happy Builder store, the customer can uh, OTPT for the cash, uh, which is cash on delivery. For the customer that live far away from our store, they can choose long distance delivery via express uh, shipping, such as uh, JNT, okay, Post Laju, Malaysia, and they can get their products in uh, three or four days. Next, management and organizational plan. Organization structure is arrangement and relationship between each functional part found in business organization to achieve the vision, mission, and business objective that have been set. In our company, we have four levels which is a director, assistant director, manager, and assistant manager. Beh Hussiang as a director, Nori Atika as a assistant director. Next is, we have four managers according to their respect respective function. Fatu Rahman as marketing manager, Aina Fatiha as operation manager, Siti Farina as financial manager and Wan Arifat as planning manager. And the rest, Lubis Adika, Fakru Zamani and Hakim Atir as a assistant manager. Next, management team. Management team that refer to a group in, of individuals who are involved in an organization to ensure that cost of the designed project. 
all of us are involved in the management team. We have nine person in management team. It is divided according to their duties and position. My name is Siti Farina Binti Razak. My maintenance number is 2996. Next, I will talk about Happy Widows Operational Plan. This slide is show about our operational expenditure. The first table is about cost and quantity of each product. Our product is Disney Cartoon Lego Building Block. The price per unit is 5 Malaysia Ringgit. The quantity that we take from our supplier is 120 unit. So the total cost will be 600 Malaysia Ringgit. The next table is about Happy Builders One Time Expenditure which is business registration expenses. We will collect 7 Malaysia Ringgit from every members that will make the total is 63 Malaysia Ringgit. The next table is about monthly expenditure. The first one is postage which is 15 Malaysia Ringgit per unit. Second is marketing expenses that will be 5 Malaysia Ringgit. Third is salaries or wages which is 20 Malaysia Ringgit times 9 members so the total is 180 Malaysia Ringgit. Last is contingency expenses that we expect is 10 Malaysia Ringgit. So the total for the monthly expenditure is 210 Malaysia Ringgit. Next, I will talk about operation flowchart for happy builders. Firstly, all partners will contribute 40 ringgit per members. Purchase Lego from suppliers. Marketing manager will start to promote via social media. Then we will collect order from the customer. After the customer agree to buy the product, we will start to proceed the order. Then we will receive payment from the customer before we do the delivery service or provide the self pickup for the new customer. After they receive the goods, we will collect customer feedback either to maintain or improve our service. Then if the customers want to cancel the order, the payment will be written. Next, I will talk about calendar of event for happy builders. Calendar of events is important for keeping track of our upcoming operation. This date is important for us to manage our operation. Next slide is about budgetary information. Happy Builders has made the list about our own budgetary information so that we can see our cash flow and make better financial planning. We need to make sure that no waste occur and ensure that our income will be enough to return the capital. I will explain the financial plan of our business. First of all, source of fund, the main sources of funding are retained earnings, debt capital, and equity capital. Retained earnings from business operations are used by companies to grow or pay dividends to their shareholders. Businesses raise funds by either privately borrowing loans from a bank or by going public issue debt securities. The source of funds of our business is from personal savings that we share with other teammates for the basics of the business. Our savings were insufficient to cover our company's funding needs. We will consider applying for commercial bank loans and overdraft. Now let's see our business startup budget. For the startup funding, we are contributing 40 ringgit from each member as the capital of our business. For the one-time expenditure, we share 7 ringgit per person, which is the total is 63 ringgit. And the total for startup funding is 423 ringgit. In monthly expenses of our startup expenditure, we use 5 ringgit for marketing expense, 10 ringgit for contingency expense, and 180 ringgit for salaries or wages, which is 20 ringgit per percent. When the, then the total startup expenses is 210 ringgit, and the total surplus is 213 ringgit. For January, February, and March, our business will incur estimate expenditure of 210 ringgit. Next, for the estimate revenue, 
our product Disney Lego Cartoon Building Block will be sold for five ringgit per unit, and the quantity of our products that will be sold is 120 units per month. Total will be 600 ringgit. Then estimated monthly sales will remain same throughout the three months: January, February, and March for 600 ringgit. In the statement of profit and loss for our business, the total of gross profit for January, February and March is 900 ringgit. For total expenses is 630 ringgit and the total net profit for the period was 270 ringgit by deducting gross profit and the total expenses. And as you can see at the bottom of this slide, the cost of goods sold (COGS) of our product is 300 ringgit for every three months. We purchased 120 units of Lego blocks from supplier for 2 ringgit and 50 cent per unit. For the statement of cash flow for our business, start with the beginning balance in February and March, which are 450 ringgit and 540 ringgit. Earnings capital is 360 ringgit and the sales is 600 for every 3 months. Then the total cash available in January, February and March will be 960 ringgit, 1050 ringgit and 1140 ringgit. So, with deducting the total cash available and total cash disbursement, we will get the ending balance for January 450 ringgit, February 540 ringgit, and March 630 ringgit. For the balance sheet, total asset for January is 450 ringgit, February 540 ringgit, and March 630 ringgit. Next, the sum of the cap opening capital and net profit is the total of equity and liabilities, which is same as the total of the asset. 450 ringgit in January, 540 ringgit in February, and 630 ringgit in March. Okay, doctor, for our business model, uh, for the key partner are uh, Lego producers and pa uh, packaging producers, and costs that we spend are marketing, salaries, productions of Lego, purchase and taxes, and activities are marketing, promotions, sales, and market uh, re uh, research. And for the key resource, our nice supplier and packaging supplier, and for the importance for values propositions for us are offering a selection of products that can be used as a gift or uh, personal collections and for the customer relationship is uh, social interactions we will interact with our uh, customer by social media and channels are uh, physicals locations and booths and also social media which is whatsapp and instagram for the revenue is all sales revenue is from the products so and for the customer segment are staff and students that who are interested and also the someone looking for gift and presents. So in the conclusion section, what we could summarize is Lego Brick is a passionate and innovative company specializing in the production and distribution of interlocking plastic bricks. We are dedicated to fostering creativity, education and the power of play for children and adults alike. Our Lego Bricks offer endless possibilities for construction allowing individuals to unleash their imaginations and develop essential skills such as problem solving, spatial awareness, creativity, and fine motor abilities. Now I want to present about our online business. Our product is Lego Bricks. We sell a variety of Lego designs such as Hello Kitty and Patrick. Next, promotional channels. We promote through WhatsApp by sharing to group in Asis and class. In addition, we also promote through Instagram story and posts. Next, we also create a website for our business to make it easier for customers to get to know about our products. And this is one of our customers who are interested in our products. And this is a transition from customer because purchase our product. 